Install the sweep on the door panel. Measure the width of the door panel and add 3 8 of an inch. Cut the sweep to this dimension. Install the sweep to the bottom of the door with the soft pin portion facing toward the inside of the shower and 3 8 of an inch hanging past the handle side of the door. Install the bulb seal to the edge of the handle side of the door panel. The bulb seal is designed to sit on top of the sweep previously installed. Once the sweep and bulb seal are installed, set the door inside of the shower on blocks with the handle side of the panel on the same side as the shower head. Attach one set of rollers to the top two holes of the sliding door glass. The rollers should be adjusted to the center of their out of round position. This allows for adjusting the rollers more easily if needed. The header support bar is designed to be positioned in line with the exact center of the curb with a minimum curb width of 2 and 15 sixteenths of an inch. To locate the holes in the vertical walls for mounting the header support bar, take the intended overall height to the top of the glass and deduct 4 inches. This figure will represent the height location from the curb to the center of the holes to be drilled in the vertical walls. Note: Due to the extremely smooth nature of the rollers, the header support bar must be installed levelly. Failure to do so could result in a sliding door that rolls to one side by itself. Drill the holes and mount the track holder fitting blocks to each side wall. From the center of the wall to the bar fitting, measure 15 sixteenths of an inch toward the outside of the curb. This will determine the center line of your fixed panel support. Fasten the fixed panel support to the curb and the wall. Install the fixed panel glass, making sure to plumb and level the glass at the intended height. Holes in the fixed panel glass must align with pre-tapped holes in the header support bar. Please note, both ends of the header support bar will have to be cut in order to achieve this. Measure from the center of either hole to the vertical fixed panel wall and deduct 7 eighths of an inch. Cut the header support bar, being sure the cut measurement is taken from the hole used in the previous step. Once the end of the header support bar is cut, Measure the wall-to-wall -wall tight dimension where the track is to be mounted. Deduct 1 and 3 quarters of an inch and cut the opposite side of the header support bar. Please note, the header support bar is made of stainless steel. Special cutting tools should be used, such as a stainless steel tubing cutter. A handheld hacksaw is not recommended. The header support bar is to be permanently mounted. Prior to permanently mounting the header support bar, slide a stopper on each end with the rubber bumper portion toward the ceiling. Then, slide a glass to bar fitting for wall on each end with the set screws facing the floor. Carefully place the header support bar between the wall to bar fitting. Slide both wall to bar fittings from the header support bar to the blocks mounted to the wall, making sure the pre-tapped holes in the bar line up with the holes in the fixed panel glass. Tighten the top and bottom set screws closest to the wall to hold the track holder fittings tightly to the mounting blocks. Tighten the remaining set screws in both track holder fittings to securely fix the header support bar in place. 
before permanently fastening the fixed panel to the header, carefully slide the stopper on the fixed panel side of the header support bar to a midway position between the first hole and the far end of the fixed panel wall. With the fixed panel in place, fasten the glass to the bar fittings for the fixed panel, attaching the glass to the header support bar. Place the guide in the correct position and mark the base curve for drilling. The guide is designed to slide over the U-channel at the end of the fixed panel. Mount the guide. Carefully hang the door on the top of the header support bar, placing the glass inside of the guide. Slowly roll the door to check for the correct fit and adjust the rollers if needed. Fasten the second lower set of rollers through the door glass. Adjust the second set of rollers, allowing them to ride 1 16th of an inch below the header support bar. The second set of rollers is merely an anti-lift feature and is not intended to roll. With the sliding glass door in the closed position, adjust the stopper to the top roller and tighten the set screws. Attach the back-to-back ladder-style through glass pole. Slide the door to the open position, leaving at least two inches between the handle and the fixed panel. Adjust the remaining stopper and tighten the set screws. Measure from the wall to the edge of the door guide to determine the length of the dam strip. Cut and install the dam strip directly in line with the fixed panel using either a shower-proof double-stick tape or silicone. Clean the glass thoroughly. Seal the glass to the wall channel with silicone and allow the enclosure to cure for 24 hours before use.